Hi guys, it is uh, June um, 20th, 2012, and um, today's Way in Wednesday. Yay! Uh, I just got through doing one bout of the Hibakins, so I have one more to go today. I did uh, 10 breaths on, I think it's called a spirometer. Keith, you probably know what it's called, you know, where you breathe in and out so they, it'll keep your lung, lung strong so you won't develop pneumonia. I'm on, it says I only have to do like 10 a day now and uh, during the hospital stay and after surgery for a little while. But I'm just going to do as many as I can because now that I don't smoke, I can. Yay! Um, and they made me promise that I would take my inhalers daily like I'm supposed to because uh, I don't really take them like I'm supposed to, especially after I quit smoking. I don't feel the need for them. My asthma attacks are not very uh, frequent anymore. Thank God. Um, I look a hot mess, don't I? Mm. Um, I promised her I would do that, one of the nurses, Victoria. And she made me promise that I would wear my CPAP machine, which I'm not doing that one. I don't like it. I just don't go, I'm just not going. I might try, but I just don't think I will. Um, I'm doing everything that they're asking me to do. They put smoke in, the spirometer, my Spiriva, my inhalers, all my regular medications I'm supposed to take that I don't normally take, I'm taking. You know, because they said it would help me out with my surgery. And I'm not taking the future. I mean, today's my first uh, day free without it. And I think I'm doing okay. Um, yeah, I think I'm doing okay. I've had a couple of cans of potted meat. And I know a lot of y'all don't know what that is. But it's just a, it's just like a sandwich spread. And I had it on uh, some saltine crackers. And I had a glass of Coke. So, that's all I've had today. Um, anyway, let me get to way, on, way in Wednesday. I'm sorry. I just rambled for, the, what, the first two minutes of that. I'm sorry. To my surprise, remember I told you guys, if I didn't lose another pound and just stayed at that nice round number of 50, that I would be happy on the day of the surgery when I laid my big butt on that table. Well, if my wheel is right and my kitchen scale is right, they're only about like a pound difference. But uh, it says I weigh 266 pounds. And you know me, I will insert a picture. Uh, somewhere in along inside this video. Um, I was actually kind of uh, excited about that because, you know, that's a lot of weight pre-surgery. I mean, I know I've heard of some people who lost like a hundred, you know, and that's quite a bit. Um, but that's, uh, I just added up on the calculator and that's 54 pounds if the we is correct, which it should be. That's 54 pounds pre-op surgery, and I think I excuse my language, but I think that is damn good. With or without, the, <clears throat> with or without that fentramine, because the fentramine doesn't last, but to maybe four to six months, and the um, your body gets immune to it, and you, then you, then a lot of it goes to where you have to be the one that does the work, makes the decisions on when to work out, what's the best choice of food to eat, <clears throat> and the portions, you know, because it doesn't work as well as it did when you first start taking it. But I'm super excited about that, and I hope this goes right. I'm pretty sure it is, because the one in the kitchen said like 267.2. So it's close to about a pound difference between the two. So that makes me happy. Uh, of course, you know, I am having my last supper tomorrow. I wanted to have it kind of earlier in the week or last week, but I just, we just, you know, couldn't get everybody scheduled together for everybody, because I wanted my family to be here with me to um, celebrate my farewell to food. Or at least farewell to the portions of food that I'm going to be able to eat. <laughs> um, so uh, I'm going to take pictures of that tomorrow. Uh, I get to have my favorite, one of my favorite uh, meals is going to be, my mom is a wonderful cook. So is my dad. Uh, it's a country fried steak. It's cube steak with gravy, uh, mashed potatoes, carrots, um, I believe some rolls or something. I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe just bread. I'm not sure. And my mom is making me uh, my favorite kind of cake, white on white. <coughs> She's going to decorate a little bit. So it's not going to look professional. But, you know, it's coming from her heart. And that's the most important thing. And I'll take pictures of that. Um, I'm still a little bit nervous, you know. But with all your all your support that you guys gave me yesterday, I know that that's normal. And um, that's not going to go away anytime soon. <laughs> Um, and it'll probably be worse. I told the the um, the chick who was doing my blood yesterday that I'd probably throw up the day of the surgery, probably all over the hospital. So they better be ready for that, because my nerves will probably get the best of me, unfortunately. Um, I think that's it.
that's it, guys. You know, uh, I really don't have much else to say except for thank you for everything and thank you to my family for your support, too. All of y'all have meant the world to me, and it, um, there's just nothing better than having uh, good family support and uh, online and offline. So I've, I'm, um, I'm truly blessed. You know, I couldn't ask for anything better. I really couldn't. So I'm a blessed person. Um, so I'm gonna cut this short. But y'all know me. I may make another video. It depends on how I feel. I'm trying to decide something though you guys can help me out with real quick before I go. I'm going to take my last uh, pre-op picture, you know, and I've decided what, like uh, my friend on here, Crazy Jenny, she has an outfit that she puts on every time she does pictures, which is a pair of black, um, uh, like me, I guess, uh, my mom calls them pedal pushers, but they're capris, and she just has a black sport bar on, if I'm not mistaken, so I figured I'd do the same. Except for I'm going to have a white pair of capris on and a white sport bra. And I know you might want to look away when you walk, uh, when you see it because it's not going to be pleasant to look at. Um, so you can tell me, guys, if you think I should go ahead and do the picture now or wait until like, the night before surgery. So, Because I know that that dinner I'm going to eat tomorrow and the cake and the ice cream and, and all that is going to probably put three or four pounds on me that I've lost in the last week. <laughs> But you know that's okay because that'll that'll be give me leeway to eat that much, and still have that round number of fifty when I hit the table, which is what I really you know which I'm happy with. So you guys let me know what you think. Shoot the pictures tonight, or in the next day or so, or wait until the day before. Because I don't see my weight changing that much between now and uh, Monday. And Monday I've got a lot of stuff to do. You know I've got to um, do the breathing thing, take all my medications, finish packing do this nasty uh, poopy stuff and uh, a bunch of other stuff that has to be done. You guys know what you have to do. So let me know. Comment or make a response video. Either way, I don't care whichever one you feel comfortable with or what you got time with. Anyway, it's uh, almost seven, oh, it's way over seven minutes, so I'm going to cut this short. I love you guys. I appreciate your support, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.